Good morning. It's Friday, July 14th, 2023. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, Holy or Hellish? And our scripture is Psalm 139, verse 14. I will praise thee, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Marvelous are thy works, and that my soul knoweth right well. Whatever you can name in the universe, skyscrapers, objects, organizations, or the basic building blocks of substance, all are neither good nor bad. Ethically, they're neutral, that is, until they're taken in hand and used for good or evil. Money, for instance, is simply coin or paper, or the trust we place in an exchange of goods or services. In the hands of a benefactor, money can feed a million starving children. It can also be used to place weapons in the hands of those who might kill children, holy or hellish. The dilemma is never the agent used, but the one who holds the agent. Is it for a holy purpose or a hellish purpose? The psalmist, King David, considered his composite nature, body, soul, spirit, and he shouted to the heavens how intricately marvelous were the workings of God's making. And it is true, the human body is an incredible engineering glory. We are made for an interesting eternity of possibilities, and yet so simple as to be able to smile at an infant's gaze or laugh because we get the joke even if it was lame. Humankind have always tinkered with God's creation. As far back as Adam and Eve, we're told to subdue the creation and all it holds, to tend the garden, so to speak. With that assigned heavenly task, we have seen strong heavenly handling and destructive hellishness. Once again, it's never the substance of creation, but rather the employment of it which defines heaven and hell's intent. We all bear the DNA of Adam, which produced both Mother Teresa and Adolf Hitler. In an article on genetic engineering, Christopher McFadden lists 11 reasons why that science of genetic engineering is so important. Among those reasons are uses in agriculture and medicine and environmental control. Scientists have discovered the genetic on-off switch, the CRISPR, a medical breakthrough that has implications as wide as curing cancer and Alzheimer's disease. That's the plus side of genomic research. There's also the possibility of being able to manipulate the results of the kind of children that are born. The genomic manipulation of human embryos is the ethical bugaboo. I have never heard a morally convincing argument that overturns Scripture's claim of God's creation being perfect in its origin. It is His handiwork and the most magnificent gift to us. The problems, so-called, that we attempt to overcome with manipulating that gift are of our own making. Scripture also has a word for that, sin. It's pretty much explained in the first three chapters of Genesis. For you today, C.S. Lewis wrote that with each thought or action we are creating who we are, turning ourselves into a more heavenly or hellish being. Now that's bad or good enough. Manipulating an unborn child's life is a hellish presumption on what God has declared holy. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.